Hi all, uh, welcome to the ACC's Open Day. My name is Dr Patrick Sim and I'm President of the ACC. I'll start by letting you know a little bit about why we are here and what is it that drives us to establish a brand new uh, chiropractic college and really it's about producing great chiropractors. Um, what we need to do to do that is to ensure that you have great practical skills, you have a great sense of science and perhaps even most importantly you have a good understanding of the philosophy of chiropractic. So we have borrowed uh, from around the world to produce a great curriculum. In particular, uh, we have the curriculum from the New Zealand College of Chiropractic uh, that are strong supporters of ours. Uh, and then we've built great academic people around that curriculum to deliver it to you. We have great impact from the profession as well. So a lot of your teachers are chiropractors, local chiropractors, as well as chiropractors from around the country who are here to teach you how to become a great chiropractor. Our supporters are also chiropractors, so all the money we have raised so far has come directly from the profession. So you can have some confidence knowing that the course that you are doing is underwritten by the profession and that the way we are trying to teach and what we're trying to produce in our graduates is what our supporters are looking for, which means that your ability to practice the chiropractor is improved, your ability to get a job is better. And it's quite unique. So firstly, we are a private institution. We're not in an Australian university, which means that we can focus quite specifically on the delivery of our course. So we are bespoke. You can think of it as we are designed specifically to produce great chiropractors. Uh, every unit that you do within your, within your studies with us um, is leading you towards your practice skills, not just about knowing things, but how you can actually do them in practice. After all, we're here to produce great chiropractors. We're not here necessarily to produce just students. So we would hope that uh, the input you're getting from the profession will lead you towards that end. The other key focus at the ACC with our curriculum is teaching business skills. As a chiropractor, when you graduate, you'll be working in the private health setting, which means that you have to be able to run a business. So today is about educating you on how we do that. Uh, you'll be speaking to a number of people outlining um, their experience as students or how they're delivering from our faculty, um, and I'm sure there's a number of questions that you have about the ACC. But I want you to hold on to those because later on we'll be having a Q&A and you'll be able to ask those questions directly to us. So I invite you to hang around for that and I'll see you then. The college is located in Adelaide CBD, which makes it really easy to get to and from. Adelaide is also a really affordable city for living, working and studying. Hi everyone and welcome to the Australian Chiropractic College 2020 Open Day. We would have loved if you could be here and join us in person to see our school, but as you can't, we'd love to give you a tour of the campus anyway and show you around. Cool. So we'll come through here. So this is the Australian Spinal Research Foundation Library. Hey Charles. Hey guys. Charles. <laughs> So in here we've got a couple of different functions. Over on this side we've got all of the books, so this is where we have textbooks that we can borrow if we haven't purchased our own or other chiropractic books that we can have a bit of a flick through. And as you can also see here we've got our own little study spaces, so every student's kind of allocated their own space and where they've also got their own personalised drawers which can lock and stuff and you can put your belongings and stuff in there which is cool. And also as you can see out there you can study with a great view which is Obviously a bonus, you know. Bonus, <laughs> yeah. Um, in this corner as well, we've got where our librarian usually uh, sits. She comes in at the moment once a week to help us with any research questions that we have or any articles that we're trying to find, um, <coughs> books, anything that we need from her. And I imagine as we get more students coming in that she'll be here more often as well. Definitely. So now we'll come through this way. We'll head past the admin desk. And this is Anna. Hey, Anna. Hey, guys. Good. <laughs> so we'll head up here into one of our smaller breakout rooms. Yep. So this is kind of a little group meeting sort of room where you can come and discuss things that you might not know with each other or you can even have a lecturer come in here and explain to you something that you might not be grasping quite as much as you would like and yeah, have the real one-on-one -on -one explanation which is super useful. Absolutely, and as the college grows and we get more students, um, these little breakout spaces will be really important for group work and bits and pieces as well. Yeah, definitely. Sure. So now as we come across the hall in here, this is where all the magic happens really. This is our main lecture room. The exciting stuff. Definitely, definitely. 
Uh, so yeah, we spend heaps of time in here every day, um, learning sort of more of the science background stuff, all of the lecture on on techniques. And um, one of the really cool things that I love about this is we have a computer program called Complete Anatomy that we use. I tried to load it up for you guys, but couldn't quite get it working. So um, it's sort of like a three-dimensional anatomy program where you can do layers of bone and ligaments and add tendons and muscles and rotate them, strip them back, uh, look at the real sort of three-dimensional aspect of the body, which is super helpful when you're learning the hard science like anatomy and physiology here. Definitely, definitely. Um, what I love about this room is the setup here. So we've got all the students that can sit around and kind of grasp what the lecturer is saying and also the props that are available in this room. So for example, a lecturer may use someone to demonstrate some palpation skills or something on, or even where a muscle or a ligament or a joint is on the body and you can see it like in real time right here which is super useful especially if most of the cohort are visual learners it's it's a prop that you honestly need and is really important in the profession also we've got props as you can see around here and on the walls that the lecturer can use for more demonstration and really showing you what's going on and what they're actually teaching which is super useful and something that I know is definitely beneficial for my learning yeah, absolutely. So heaps of tools definitely, help us in definitely. our learning here. So now we come through this way. And now we'll just come around the corner. <coughs> so this area here is another one of our study spaces. Um, it's one of my favourite places to study because the desks are huge and you can break away and just sort of um, catch up on homework. <laughs> But uh, as, as the college grows, I think this will be one of the lecture rooms that we're going to have. It's yep. got the board set up there, and so it'll take on a little bit of a different function. Definitely, and this is also a space where you can you know, do your own study, individual study. If you have to take an online quiz, you can do it here by yourself and have really no other distractions. And you can also enjoy another nice view out there, which is always handy when you're studying. Yeah, absolutely. So another versatile space, which is great. Definitely. And then if we come along here, we've got our prac space. So you can see we've got a few different tables lined up there. There are a couple more in the spaces there as well. And what we'd usually do here is break up into small groups. Someone would be on the table and we'd be learning our palpation skills. Um, one of the awesome things about ACC that I love that really sets us apart, I think, is the integrated learning approach that they've got. So from week one, we're out here using our hands, learning how to palpate and identify bony landmarks, and that integrates with learning the anatomy and physiology. So while we're looking at the thoracic spine and all the bones that make it up uh, in the lecture room, then out here we'll be learning to feel them and identify different landmarks Definitely. with that, which is cool. Yeah, and just to touch on that, um, the integrated learning is super important. Like, say if we have an anatomy lecture, literally like half an hour after that, we'll be out here and putting into practice something we've learned. So it's fresh in your memory, which I think is super important and definitely important when you're like learning the technique and all these sort of things. And it's definitely great to implement those sort of habits right from the get go. And it's yeah, a super way to learn for sure. For sure. It's a little scary at start learning how to navigate the human body and definitely. learning those palpation skills, but you get used to it super quick. Definitely, definitely. So now as we come along here, it's also like a, yeah, a multi-purpose room as Thomasine mentioned. So as you can see along here, there's individual desks and this is where our exams unfortunately take place. But I know um, everyone knows that you have to do what you have to do and exams are a part of the course. So yeah, this is where they go down and yeah, it's not as bad as you think. Yeah, it's a friendly space. We're not in a gigantic hall with thousands of desks and yeah, a big ticking definitely. clock. It's, it's friendly and approachable and as good as yeah. exams can be. Definitely more friendly than I've experienced before, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. This is another space as well that will probably um, change function a little bit as the college grows because it does have such sort of a diverse setup and as we need it for different things. One of the really cool things about being part of a small college is that everything does change quickly and is really adaptable. So if we need it to perform a different function, then we can we can do that and it's no hassle. Which definitely, is great. definitely. So as we come through this way, as you can see on the left here is like a private little space where you can just have a rest from study, you know, I've been caught in here napping and on a few occasions. But you can also, you know, take a chair in there and study and just 
have your own quiet time, which I think is really necessary when you have so much learning every day and stuff. Yeah, you just need to sleep. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> And then this is kind of the exact opposite. This is one of the more scary rooms that we have to face as a student. Definitely. This is our prac exam room. Uh, so in here, we'd come in, we'd have our lecturers sitting at the table, and then we'd be uh, sort of assessing another student and demonstrating the prac skills that we've learned. So Definitely. Oh, it's, it is a daunting room, but it's also a super exciting room where we get to pretty much demonstrate what we've learned through the week and get critiqued on how to be a better chiropractor and a better student. And you can really bounce off the other student, which is great. And I think it's a super important tool to have throughout the entire course and just be checking the boxes, making sure you're up to where you should be and yeah, doing exactly what you need to be doing to be the best chiropractor you can be. Absolutely. And I think we were only here for about eight weeks before COVID hit and we had to shut down, but we did a prac exam in that time and within that eight weeks we'd actually learned so much Definitely. and it was really cool to sort yeah. of look at where we were at the start versus the end of that eight weeks and go yeah it's really eye-opening what you can yeah. learn in just eight weeks of being at the college it's super exciting i can't wait to be here for the next three four years it'll be know. awesome <laughs> so as we come through here <coughs> hey guys how you going hey guys how are you how are you? Good, how are you? good thank you so this is the Yarra Hills Chiropractic Student Lounge and this is where we can come out and have a break, you know, during lectures when we have 10, 15 minutes or so, we can discuss what we've learned or just not worry about it at all and just get to socialising and having something to eat and yeah. Yeah, for sure. Being a smaller college, we do have access to some facilities, which I know I have experienced not necessarily at the bigger unis, like having a fridge and tea and coffee facilities and because we work so hard, yeah. <laughs> it's just so nice to be able to just come out and chill and have everything yeah. here that we need. For sure, for sure. It's definitely one of my favourite areas, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> just want to say a big thank you to all of you guys for joining us today and I know it hasn't been as we would have expected and had you guys all in with us today, but it's been great nonetheless. Absolutely, we've loved showing you where we study. We love this place. We're so excited to come back when we can and continue Definitely. our chiropractic education. So thank you so much for joining us and we hope to see you here soon. Definitely, thank you. Thanks guys. I'm really excited to be a part of the Australian Chiropractic College because it has a great curriculum which focuses on the philosophy, the science and the art of chiropractic. From day one we get great mentorship from the practicing chiropractors that are involved in the college. Hey guys, so I'm Chelsea um, and I'm very fortunate to count myself amongst the students here at the ACC um, and I want to introduce you to our esteemed registrar and evidence-based uh, Cairo lecturer, Dr. Alex Lovett. Um, so he uh, has a lot of duties when it comes to enrolling students, taking us through that individualized process. Um, so what would you say, Alex, or maybe some of the highlights and, and, and what is that process sort of like for us? Uh, well, we, um, it's important to know we're a small focus college, we just deal with uh, chiropractic. So, um, and, and we have students from all over Australia, so um, really uh, the admission process is quite individualised and, and we try and keep a nurturing um, you know, environment for all the students. Uh, but it is, uh, you can contact any of the admissions team and we'll guide you through the process of the admissions. And uh, you know we can uh, basically because the students are all ages and backgrounds, it really has to be individualised. So it's good that we're a small college and uh, focused on that. That's great. I really got that feeling when I was actually taken through the process myself. That um, yeah, it was made easy, and I do feel really comfortable here and 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 kind of led through the process. Um, and then touching maybe on the student experience, you know, obviously being here in Adelaide, there's lots to see and do and, and being a small college, you know, we get lots of good time with our, uh, our lecturers and things like that. But what, how do you sort of see that side of things with the student experience? Well, the student support is, of course, again, uh, it's an advantage that we are a small focus college. And so the student support starts from the lecturers and the, and the, tu and the tutors and then of course uh, with the support staff like myself. So we can really um, address any individualised issues uh, and we can, uh, if we can't deal with it uh, within house, we can guide you to, to, you know, to, the, right, uh, to the right people so that you can, uh, you know, we can address those issues. 
So really because we are a small college, you know, everything is really, it's a nurturing environment and an individualised uh, you know, experience for all the students involved. And a lot of fun, I would say, because it's given us a chance to become friends with both each other, the students and, and the faculty members, so sure. it's wonderful. Good. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed being here. Very much so. Okay. I have an undergraduate degree in science and I'm looking forward to transitioning into chiropractic as my career. One of my core values is to be of service to others and I think chiropractic is a great way for me to fulfil that. Hey guys, we're back here in the prac room. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, I'm here with Dr. Ivancic, one of my lecturers. So Dr. Ivancic, did you want to come over and have a chat? Hi. Hi, Thomasine. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, really good. Really good. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Um, we've got some people here with us today. So Hello. did you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about how you came to be at ACC? Yep. So my name's Dr. John Ivancic. Um, I'm a senior lecturer here at ACC. Uh, I teach anatomy and biomechanics. I also help with some of the technique classes. Uh, the way I came to be here was Dr. Eaton asked me along to a, uh, uh, a meeting and uh, she told me all about the course really excited about what she had to tell me. Uh, I couldn't help but to say yes to uh, joining the ACC, so I'm really, really happy to be here. Absolutely, and we appreciate it. And <laughs> what you. about your experience before um, joining the college? So I graduated in 91 as a chiropractor. Uh, I taught for a few years at uh, university, both at uh, New South Wales and Macquarie University, uh, both in chiropractic and non-chiropractic courses, uh, anatomy, technique, and was in private practice and still am in private practice. So it's been about 30 years in private practice. Uh, short teaching career, but hopefully another teaching career now at ACC. So really looking forward to continuing teaching and uh, especially at ACC. Yeah, fantastic. So yeah. Um, since you graduated 30 years ago, I'm sure we'd all like to know what's changed in that time. Okay, well, a few things have changed. Technology's obviously gotten very much more advanced than it was 30 years ago. Uh, so we have a lot of technology incorporated in our course. Uh, the principles, philosophies really have not changed all that much. Uh, they're still true to the, the, the core principles that I learnt back 30 years ago. Technique has changed a little bit, so we'll incorporate some new techniques in the course. Uh, obviously, the technology will help us deliver the core content and the basic sciences. Um, but essentially, you know, helping people 30 years ago is still helping people today, and uh, hopefully ACC can promote chiropractors that still want to do that same thing that we did 30 years ago. So yeah, hopefully it's, um, it's going to help you guys graduate as great chiropractors. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. And um, in terms of your career, what is it that you love about chiropractic that's kept you going in this profession for so long? Yeah, look, I think the fact that you can help people, the fact, the fact that this is a, a healing profession, uh, drugless, uh, people really appreciate when you are helping them in that way. Um, you get to see a variety of people, you get to engage with a lot of people, you, you meet some very, very nice people and, and relationships and I think um, seeing the changes you make in people's lives on a daily basis um, is what keeps you going. It's just that one time that you can help someone that makes you feel good about what you're doing and good about chiropractic and keeping the chiropractic um, treatment and, and, and the dream alive basically. So um, that's part of why I'm at ACC too because I want to give back to the college and the profession through teaching. Yeah, fabulous. Well, it's fantastic to have you on board. So thank you so much for answering my questions and for your time. You're very welcome. All right, Goodbye. let's go join the others. Thank you, see ya. I really want to be a chiropractor to make profound changes in people's lives. I was fortunate enough to be a chiropractic assistant and a patient. My family's been under chiropractic care and I feel like this is a really great way to make great impact in people's lives through their health. I am your Deputy Academic Dean at the ACC, Naveen Hayworth. So I wanted to introduce you to an important component of the program here at the ACC, and this is the Work Integrated Learning Component, or otherwise referred to as a Clinical Education Component. So we want to make sure that our students who graduate have the necessary clinical, professional, and business skills required out there in the industry. To do this, we have embedded work integrated learning from the start to the finish of our program. All of our students will be assigned mentors, both faculty and profession based, 
to assist in their student learning journey. Students will undertake clinical placements in downtown, urban, rural and international settings to serve various members of the community. We have partnered with industry that includes sporting teams and even the private practitioner so that students can get the real authentic clinical learning experience. We want to make sure that this is a very student-centered learning environment that will also include an evidence-informed, patient-centered clinical learning program so that you are set up appropriately for industry requirements. Now we welcome you at the webinar that will be at 12.30 and I will be there to answer your questions. Thank you for your time.